Here, we are going to look at an interesting method of paper folding that gives us an approximate pentagon. And this method is based on something you might have done in your childhood, cutting off such patterns. And you may recall, you don't have to really cut every figure in this pattern. In fact, you don't even have to cut one whole figure. Even if you can get only half a figure right on a folded sheet of paper, then after unfolding, you can get the entire pattern back. Of course, it all depends upon getting this top angle right because this top angle is part of a polygon. The polygon we are trying to get here is a pentagon. So if this figure that we have, we are going to cut forms one tenth of a pentagon, then the whole pattern can be generated. So here is a method of generating the pentagon itself. We will start with a triangle whose top angle is 36 degrees. And then if we can repeat it in space by paper folding, then we can get a pentagon. So it all boils down to getting an angle of 36 degrees or maybe 72 or 18 degrees. So we can unfold or fold it to get 36. So I'm going to start with this family of angles. So first I'll write the angle, then convert it into radians, then take its sine, cosine and tangent function, tang functions. And uh, I'm going to take angles of 18, 36, 54 and 72 convert them into radians, all of them, find its sine, cosine and tan functions for all the angles. And then uh, in these values, I'm going to look for some interesting ratios, something that is easy to create. And here is one, uh, say ratio of three is easy to create in terms of length. So we can get tan of 72 degrees. Once we have the angle of 72, we can fold to get 36 and then we can keep unfolding it, you know, to get a pentagon. Now keeping that in mind that tan 72 is 3, we are going to start with a square sheet of paper and we'll fold this edge of the paper on top of that. So basically I'm taking this half of the paper and I'm going to fold it like this over here so as to get this shape. In step 2, we have got this double sheet of paper. Now its width is half and we are going to mark half of that so one fourth the width for that we'll take this part of the paper and we'll start folding it like this and we'll fold it back again so it's unfolded here our purpose is only to mark the fold over here so one fourth the width we have obtained in step three i'll be taking this edge of the double sheet of paper and placing on top of this so that this moving part will be getting folded Again here our purpose is not to fold but fold back and get only the mark. And now we can mark where the two folding marks intersect. This is the intersection point. Now let us analyze the position of this point that we have obtained. It is at a distance of one fourth the width from here and one fourth the height from here. But the height and width are equal because we started with a square sheet. And therefore the distance of this point will be three fourth the dimension of the sheet and one fourth the dimension of sheet from here. So the distances are three is to one. Let us mark that fact here. And then you realize here is an angle whose opposite side is three times the adjacent side giving tan equal to three. And therefore it must be approximately at least 72 degrees the angle we were looking for. In step four, we'll be folding this paper so that this vertex of the sheet comes and coincides with this point that we have marked. For that, this line will have to double back on itself and therefore the fold line will have to be a perpendicular bisector of this. So this is how the fold line will look. And then one can figure that this angle will have to be same as this, that is approximately 72 degrees. So let us take this part of the paper and we'll start folding it so that our vertex goes and coincides with this point as shown. So step four has given us an angle of 72 degrees. And now you might have guessed step five that we are going to take the, we are going to bisect this angle 72 by taking this edge and folding onto that edge. So let us take this part of the paper and we will start folding it like this. So step five has given us the angle of 36 degrees, one tenth of uh, the pentagon. So we can crumple the rest of the paper underneath and then unfold to get the whole pentagon. So I'm going to take this angle of 72 degrees and bisect it. So by I'll place this edge on top of this by folding. So essentially I'm going to draw a angle bisector of this. So let us take this part and we'll start folding it 
like this. So the two edges meet. Step 7 we simply fold these two 36 degree parts onto each other like this. Just chop off this much of the paper. So now we are set to get a 10 sided polygon but this angle being 90 degrees through successive sides of this polygon are going to merge giving us a pentagon. So let us start unfolding it there. Finally, let us see how good our approximation is and if we can improve that. For that, we'll go back to our uh, Excel sheet. Here, we had taken tan of 72 as 3 instead of this value. So let us analyze the error. So I'll take this minus the value we took divided by 3. So we are off by about 2.5%. So if you take your sheet of paper 100 by 100, you'll get an approximate one. But if you take it 100 by 102.6, then you will get a better approximation.